Howdy to How's it going Mamba mentality? How are you guys doing? So It's Monday It's been a long week It was a rainy long week And Pretty much Okay So we are going to check out the hardware, let me flip this camera around, the hardware that we dipped on a brake part cleaner. So I bought this at O'Reilly, non-chlorated, ultra low, so it dries fast. Man, we're going to see how it looks right now. Look at these screws right here. I pretty much dipped these screws. It's pretty like. I might need to put like a box or whatever. Maybe in here. But, anyways, these. The lug nuts for the car looks pretty awesome. Uh, I don't know about the inside. I think it's still a little rusted. But we dipped it. And this is the bolt that was keeping the wheel cylinder in place and it looks it was bl all black I don't think it's rusted it's just very dusty and and you know built up dust and stuff that's why it's all black but yeah guys we are gonna actually wash this and see how it turned out All right, guys. So, um, how's everybody doing? So, if you're asking about this table, I don't know. Start this video like this, but I actually so to set this table up is actually I have to refold this and fold it back, put it against the wall, and you know put a this is my setup. Put a like a towel that you're gonna be using, so you don't. Uh, what do you call it? So you don't get the table dirty, right? And it's also, it's cloth, so anything dirt and stuff will stick to it. But yeah, anyways, um, so I rinsed off the hardware for my brakes, and from the looks of it, guys, it looks pretty good. So. Yeah, so you can tell that these are really, really good. As you can see, look, it's better than before, you know, which is great because that thing is actually pretty good. So, look at the washers. So right now it looks like this. Let's see. And then, you can see 
있는데 So clean it all up So actually I'm gonna use start using that one just to get like bolts and stuff cleaned up or whatever here's the rubber piece that I thought that was on the wheel cylinder and I thought that um, it was cracking but it wasn't so I don't know I think the brakes on those was good I ended up just replacing them um, because like I said I don't know much about mechanic and I keep saying this over and over again but you know you learn from it so the next one I'm gonna see if it is then if I have to replace it then yeah I did buy extra hardware and stuff like that but you know you can actually still reuse this just by cleaning it so that's a plus it's not crack they're not crack or anything like that but obviously it just it took out some of the the gunk or the black stuff the black dusty stuff When they say it dries fast, it dries pretty fast. Springs. Oh man. It's a little dirty though, but. Make sure you guys wear gloves. I'm supposed to be wearing a mask, but. I didn't want to get it again so right now it's so it's been actually like raining for a good minute like three hard days well two hard days and then it just gets very windy so yesterday I didn't show you guys but you know it was just raining I was feeling so lazy you know it was my only day like full day off so I was just resting and yeah so right now it looks pretty good out it got a breeze the cover of my car kind of so i bought a new cover if you guys didn't know bought a new cover that has like seven layers in amazon and the ones i had like the water kept penetrating through it kept getting my car wet so it was kind of like pointless i wanted a car that can actually you know like or a cover that covers without having to get the car wet because I think the windows and stuff is not as good you know but the windows and stuff is it's not like good so water can just penetrate through and yesterday I think it was like early morning freaking cover was off I don't even know how long it was off it was just off but yeah so that's the whole week caps and like this video guys subscribe because like I said I'm gonna turn that mo that monster right there to something positive all right guys so I'm just gonna keep washing these and yeah oh and also it's because I don't have my brakes yet and I've been trying to remove that wheel cylinder um, but I have an idea I might just use a WD-40 to loosen up the brake hose that's like attached to the wheel cylinder to make it a little bit less hard to turn um, but I'm going to try to loosen that hose I think that's the way you do it you know, I'm I was trying to look for videos but each video is like the wheel cylinder is different and they pull it out so this one I'm trying to pull it out it doesn't even fit but anyways so guys this is a final product of the hardware
right guys so I got my WD-40 and I'll show you what I mean by trying to remove the brake hose from the wheel cylinder so and I got a bunch of wrenches and yeah in a bit all right so what I mean is I was able to remove that thing because there was two pins from the top and the bottom remove that and then here I'm not able to remove oh, is it not? this wheel cylinder back of it let me see if I can turn it all right in the back of it guys as you can see right there that pretty much getting stuck so let's see if I can loosen it up with this Sorry for the shaky. You have to remove it.
does. Cut it out. All right, so I'm thinking of not even cleaning the, the wheel cylinder and the brake hose. I'm just going to put it aside in case I do need it for later on. But I might do a video on how to clean, like restore this this uh, wheel cylinder. Because um, I already bought a new one, so I don't need to actually put my time and effort on cleaning it. And I just want to work on the next step. And I've been cleaning hardware for a long time, so I mean not for a long time, but I've been trying to clean, you know, the hardware on that which I did, and other stuff, you know. But yeah, uh, right now it's just get my my uh, equipment, and then hopefully everything is good. Oh yeah, I'll show you guys. Um, I might remove. Try to try to remove the the windshield wipers because um, last time I wasn't able to vacuum, um, you know, the leaves inside like this vent that's on the hood of the car. I'll show you guys in a minute, but yeah. <laughs> See right there, it's all a bunch of leaves and stuff. So to get this out, there's a few bolts right here that I need to unscrew underneath this hood. But you have to remove this to get this out. So yeah.
Damn it. Like there's a crack here, a crack right here. get those out so I don't know how to get these out I'm trying to unhook from the bottom and then pull in out but it's not working so I'm using this I think this is a paint like hook thing that I seen on YouTube but yeah let me take out the board But so water kind of leaked inside because remember I told you guys my uh, picking cover wasn't on but that's what happens and so I'm trying to I'm gonna get those screws out right there I got one two I had a hard time with that one three and then four and then to get this whole thing out you have to get that out so gonna see what's going on with that but yeah hey babe can you give me my ziploc bag that's on the table or the cup actually
six bolts all right so this rubber piece right here I'm assuming is what's causing water to get in but I mean it's still on there and they're actually very brittle so see as you can see it's like cracking but yeah I don't know what made it so wet because there's like no holes over here. Maybe over there. Ow! So I'm assuming this is why it's wet. Because look, this is very brittle. This thing. No, the. Not the frame, this thing. I have to wash this from the inside. Wash it. Yeah, so I might have to wash the sides, even the inside, just rinsing them. Oh, he's not, and then you know, drying them after because you know, over dry them, um, it's gonna create rust. out right here this thing out I can't get it out because that's a hand and then clean this order this and then clean everything in the trunk yep I'm still waiting for that tire or the wheel cylinder so the wheel cylinder is right there to be able to take it out but yeah everything here looks clean actually hmm. So got those screws out that was attached to that vent. Gonna pour some vaporous. So this actually pretty works. Just do a little bit there. Close it up. Alright guys, so that's the end of my project car video 4. Um, like and subscribe this video if, you know, this is interesting to you because kind of got back to it. So a recap of today, I pretty much was able to remove the wheel cylinder or the brake hose from the wheel cylinder by using WD-40 to loosen it up and then for some reason it just cracked like not cracked but it it was I was able to twist it off with my fingers after um, doing all that turn so and now I am pretty much waiting on the wheel cylinder to come in I got my hardware for my brakes to uh, clean all cleaned up with Evaporus I bought it at O'Reilly I believe but yeah, and then I also inspected the trunk. The trunk was kind of like damped and you know, something the water got in somehow. So I'm thinking the 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 rubber seal that's around the trunk that keeps the water from going in. It's very brittle and it just like breaks apart. So um but I might need to just clean that with soap, wipe it down, take out all the dust and stuff. And then that's when I order my, my brake seal. So so then, cause right now it's rainy, it's winter and it's, you know, raining 
raining crazy lately, except for today. I had a beautiful day out, so I was able to do this stuff. Um, fix the cover of my car. And yeah, oh, I need to get the windshield wipers off so I can get in and vacuum all the leaves from that vent. But yeah, um, you like this video, if you haven't already, subscribe guys. You know, I need more subscribers. I know the last video was kind of whack. You just showed me spraying down, you know, the left, or the left front, uh, you know, driver's side of the, where the wheel goes. And that was pretty boring. But today I got some stuff done. So yeah, you can, um, from now on, I'm going to be cleaning my little bolts and nuts with Evaporas. You know, you could buy it at your... Uh, like O'Reilly or I got some parts from Napa Auto and I feel like they have more parts that um, they're able to order um, it's bigger too but yeah um, can't wait till my wheel cylinder comes in so I can put that wheel in take the other one inspect it but yeah um, have a blessed week guys um, you know this video is gonna be coming up probably today I usually schedule it 3 p.m. you know like any other day now but um, because I want to work on this video I might post it tonight so look out for that like this video subscribe and yeah on to the next uh, video peace